I have made so many different pillow covers. They are all envelope style pillow covers. So I figured I would just create this video here and share it with you all of the different tips and different things that I do and whether you want to do them or not, that's up to you. But enjoy this tutorial and happy sewing. The first personal preference that I have is that I actually don't account for my seam allowances. Because if I do account for that seam allowance, what tends to happen is the fluffier pillow can kind of float in that envelope style cover, and I like it to be nice and poofy. Another thing I do when I'm finishing my pillow is the back seam of the pillowcase. This seam here, I like to lengthen my stitch because I find it just looks so much nicer. Another thing that I'll do, which I did not do on this pillow, but I did on this pillow, and I hope that you can see it, I actually did two stitches. I find that it just gives a nicer finished look. For this particular pillow, I was working with fat quarters, and I didn't have enough fabric for the back back of my pillow. So what I did was I used some Velcro tabs and I added them there. That way it didn't pull up and show the pillow insert. However, another method that you can do is you can just add a strip of fabric and I think it looks really nice and it goes just along there so you've given yourself that extra length. Now the one thing to note when you're doing that method, I don't mind doing it on square pillows, but on the long pillows, I don't like to do that because your long pillows, you see the seam on the top. And so if you add an extra little piece of fabric right there, it'll just look silly when it's sitting on the couch. Here are a few tips in, and I hope that you are finding this video helpful so far. If you are, I just want to quickly mention that I do beginner sewing tutorials and new videos come out every Friday. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, that's okay. Just keep moving on with my tips. Thanks for coming. Another thing I like to do is two different colors for the back of my fabric, which is definitely helpful if you're working with smaller pieces of fabric, then you don't need enough fabric for both sections in the same print. And I think it looks pretty cute. Another tip when it comes to these square pillows, I've seen envelope style pillows where they actually put the seam this way. And so when it sits on your couch, you can see your seam from the top and I really don't like to do that. I highly recommend making sure that your seam goes from the side to the side because you're less likely to see that when it's sitting on your couch, which just makes your pillow look that much better in my opinion. And another way that you can give your pillows a little bit more extra visual impact is by adding a binding along this seam that's contrasting to the fabric that you already have or you can actually make your pillow form bigger and then just stitch around the entire outside. I did a half inch stitch on this pillow, which gave it this really pretty look. You could even go for like a three inch and it just looks so pretty. At least I think so, what do you think? This method does work best when you're doing the whole fabric method. I have a whole playlist of pillow tutorials that I will link in the description down below for you. So if you are interested in making a pillow with a flange or a regular size pillow or something with applique or an origami style pillow, I have got that for you. So definitely check out that playlist. And as always, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.